Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Come on. I am so honored by your visit to my humble stall. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, yet he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? Doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing, but that's not valuable for you. Sir, you can't just walk through here. Hello, come in! Huh. Douglas and me. Mr. Hamburg is a lunatic. No, he is capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? Uh, not me. That's a load of rubbish. the news anyway I tap him on the back show him my press pass and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front of course I'm not gonna do it there's no way I'm getting near that place besides I've got all this nice free money and the dunce doesn't even know my real name would you believe I said my name was Finley right so I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar whenever you can sneak out come and join me okay Good day to you, sir. Oh, welcome, welcome. Got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure. Wait. Jeez. What does General How Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? We will look entirely on a screen room.
Good evening, sir. Please come right through. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Anyway, in case of a security breach, all VIPs rendezvous at the underground garage and take emergency tunnel B to a shop downtown where they'll remain until escort arrives. Any questions? Thank you, Lassie. And stay safe out there, okay? When security alarm sounds, Strandberg has been instructed to rendezvous with a team of Zaydan soldiers at the underground garage. Apparently, a secret tunnel runs between the consulate and a shoe shop downtown. This is how the bank had planned. So, should we hit the town? Stay soon, stay soon. Carry on, Private. For your own good, turn around and go back where you came from. That's it, one foot in front of the other.
outpost. Not bad, huh? I figure since no one knows about the escape tunnel, this is the easiest gig in town. I mean, all we gotta do is... Oh, shit! What? Shit! I forgot to leave the all-excess keycard in the parking garage. Oh, you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before XO tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah. Are cankers. Bankers are cankers. <laughs> Gotta admit. Now that's pretty catchy. What? What? What, what was that? Huh. Really just the pipes. Jeez. Creepy down here. Perfect for one of those. Dreams where you just run and run and get nowhere. <whistles> Pretty elaborate. Huh. Wonder what came before the consulate building. Royal Palace, probably. How you boys holding up down there? Well, all we gotta do is pick up Strandberg at the garage and escort him back to HQ. The non-combatants don't know about this tunnel, so it should be a cakewalk. Almost a shame, really. Wouldn't mind seeing Strandberg get a taste of mob justice. Ah, take it you met him. Was there when the assault team brought him in. It's weird. Part of you wants to punch him in the face. Part of you wants to give him all your money. It's a gift, I suppose. Tell me about it. Anyway, gotta get back to the garage. Later. Soldier. Okay, let's see. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Situation on street level. Chanting, flag waving, chest beating. The usual stuff, sir. A few stone throwers, but nothing major. Ah, uh, the protesters might be all pre-body off for now, but uh, yeah, they won't stay peaceful for long. General Zayd will see to that. Once the rioting starts, I want this place to hold the fuck. So, you clear on the emergency procedure? Ah, 
In case of a security breach, I hit the manual alarm button, which triggers the evacuation protocol. It's, it's pretty straightforward, sir. Okay, Ace. If you're not worried, I'm not worried. Okay, I'll take a look. Hmm. I salute you. Died from cancer. Strandberg saw fit to con his estranged teammates. What do you want me to say, Lisa? I know it's the biggest day of your life. Six small screws and five sort of smaller screws. Five. Can that be right? Hmm. That's what it says. Okay. What else? Come on, if anyone Hello, can. recruit. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under the. Circumstances. If I had known. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald. It is. Believe me. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, no, do not put me on hold. Don't think about cigarettes. Don't think about cigarettes. I control the habit, not the other way around. I control it. Don't think about cigarettes. Uh, yes, I'm still here, and I'm still not doing it. Forget about the angry mob, okay? Do you know who this Strandberg guy is? Huh, Donald? Do you? He's a wanted fugitive. He's like the Prince of Fiscal Darkness. I'm not performing with these hands on the likes of him. It's bad karma, Donald. I mean, what if I lost my golden touch as a result, hmm? Then what would I do with myself and my life? I'm not, I am not exaggerating, no, no. This asshole stole billions from honest, hard-working, Oh, no, no you don't. No, not again. Do not put me on hold, Donald. You're never that... <sighs> I could go for a smoke. Donald, yes. I wanted to say about earlier... You can't do that to me, okay? Donald, I have debts. How how long have we been friends? Don't make me drag my union representative into that. Politician. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah Donald, I can't... No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. I... No, hold on, I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald? What the hell? Um, sir, uh, I think that might be yours. Yes, hello. This is 
Well, I'm calling from the Swedish consulate in Marrakesh. You know this fella? What's his problem, really? Counterclockwise. Pick up, Donald. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hiya. Hey, buddy, look, I'm sorry. This area's closed. Gonna this have to have to have to have to have to have to that is real. You wouldn't have any weapons on you, sir. No weapons allowed here, I'm afraid. I can feel you're all man, if you don't mind me saying so. Okay, proceed. Good day to you, sir. Oh, good. There you are. Klaus Strandberg. They call me Klaus. So, to the massage room, sh Would you mind giving me some space? I am going to miss this country. Good to me. <laughs> but at least I'm not going back home. Scandinavian winters? Enough said. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, oh, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see, easy money, that's all people care about. So they can drive their ridiculous urban SUVs and drink wine on a Thursday, on a Tuesday, whatever, and tell each other how they've made it. It's pathetic. I own a private jet. I made it. But tell you what. Target down. Next one. 
Next up, raise the Zaydan. Hey, sorry, Mr. Ingstrom, but no individuals allowed unescorted through here. You need access authorization, and I can't give you that. In case of an emergency, Strandberg and Zaydan will meet face to face at the center of the underground tunnel. The conspirators can summon each other over the phone using a set of keywords. Massage guy. Huh? Hey, you better not be one of them drug fiends looking to sell. Well, your perfectly formed ass for a fix of hash. Thanks for responding so quickly. We never expect this.
Private? I could just about strangle you. Stomach cramp. up. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what do you do? Now to locate General Zaydan. So what did he do? Prisoner. I'll uh, never even lie. General Zaydan says the man is a traitor and that's all he told him. About the operation. No, I... I... I am. I am listening. I'm listening, Wanda. Take a swing at the lousy rat? Eh, no can do. Only officers are allowed in. Zayden's orders. Don't know. Maybe he thinks treachery is contagious. <laughs> Maybe.
should have you both. That oh. is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. You're dismissed. General Satan's orders. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. This is someone in here. Hello? Salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. You sold us outside. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't supposed to have been at the prison transport. But you know what they say about omelets. And he died for a cause. To line the pockets of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now, please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do. I know. I gotta be honest. That is.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs>